this has the most Soviet feel to anywhere I've ever been. The marching, the soldiers, the emblems, and particularly the music. It just strikes me that we're, we're in Moscow 20 years ago. It's quite incredible. It's a complete throwback. if we can just say hello to the president and ask him a few questions. Mr. President, can we just ask, what does Independence Day mean to you and does it disappoint you that the rest of the world is not here to celebrate with you? I'm not at all disappointed. We have to create well-being by ourselves. We're happy to receive guests from all over the world. We don't want to ask them for anything. We'd like to learn something from them. Independence means protecting all the generations who live here, regardless of their nationality. Moldovans, Ukrainians, Russians. I don't want to list every one. There are 46 in all. It's actually the foreign minister from Abkhazia, which is a breakaway state in Georgia. So although representatives from the European Union or America aren't attending these celebrations in Transnistria, representatives of breakaway states are here. They're the only ones who will really recognize Transnistria's independence. But they don't count because nobody recognizes them either. <laughs> The celebrations went on all day. Transnistrians seemed completely committed to their independence. Nobody I met wanted reunification with Moldova. What is this called? Latinda. Latinda? Yes, it's, called, it's na the national Moldavian dish. You eat this here in Transnistria even though it's Moldovan? You know, some people hate Japanese, but they eat sushi. <laughs> today started with a quite traditional almost Soviet feel but they're ending with a huge party fireworks and Russian pop stars who've been flown in especially for a great big party for everyone <laughs> Independence Day today. Most of the headline acts at this concert tonight are all Russian. While Moldova tends to look to the West for inspiration to Europe, this country definitely looks to the East. The Russian army still provides security for Transnistria and has a secret military base in the north of the country. The base is believed to contain an ammunition stockpile which Western intelligence experts fear is already falling into the wrong hands and could reach terrorist groups. Obviously, we would have liked to get a little bit closer to this base, but the Russians said that we couldn't visit them. And every road we go down, trying to get closer, we find there's a, a military blockade. So we're going to have to creep through the bushes a little bit. And even then, we're going to be a fair old distance away. But it does feel a bit strange doing this, actually. I mean, 15 years ago, this was still part of the Soviet Union, and uh, we'd be Westerners creeping towards a secret military base. Now, if we get caught, we'll probably just be told off or arrested or held for a while. But then, we'd have probably been tried as spies. 
So the base, I think we can see the, we can see the outline of the, oh, there's a car going past. Oh God, a car just went past and saw us and slowed down just as I was going like that. Oh well. If we get caught, we get caught. I mean, we'll have to make up some story about making a film about the beautiful Transnistrian countryside, taking the country air, looking at the lovely trees, the secret Russian military base. Oh, is it really? Oh, I had no idea. A policeman and a soldier have turned up. Well, we might be arrested, we're not sure. We thought we were a fairly safe distance away from the Russian base. The policeman's taken our identification papers and our accreditation, passports, the lot. They were very, very fast. I mean, we're a good, oh, I don't know, mile, kilometre from the, from the base. The Transnistrian KGB soon turned up. We were detained as spies, questioned, and all our equipment was confiscated. Eventually, everything was returned to us, but we realised it was time to leave. Everybody, be careful, everybody. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. It's deliberate. It's deliberate.